Netanyahu was quick to follow through on this threat. Today, Israel intensified its campaign in Lebanon. Its troops entered Lebanese territory. They clashed with Hezbollah fighters. Hezbollah claims to have repelled the Israeli troops and killed eight Israeli soldiers today. But Netanyahu remains undeterred. He has deployed more troops for the Lebanon operation and intensified the bombing campaign. Israel says it has destroyed more than 150 targets. Lebanon's capital, Beirut, was bombed again. Its skyline was filled with smoke today. What about Iran? Well, Iran is not backing down either. Its president issued a statement today. That's Masood Pezeshkian, the Iranian president. He said Iran's operation was a response to Israel's actions in Lebanon, the attacks against the Hezbollah. Pezeshkian says Iran will strike again if Israel does not stop. If Israel want to respond to the last night's attack, they will face a more severe response. Israel's Iron Dome is more fragile than glass, and the world needs to stop them and put this apartheid regime in their place. So both Israel and Iran are making fresh threats. No side wants to retreat. There's little room for diplomacy at the moment. As things stand, this war will continue. This is exactly what Netanyahu wanted. I know it may sound strange. Who would want 180 missiles being fired at them? Well, that's Benjamin Netanyahu for you. He sees this escalation as an opportunity to do what? To reshape West Asia, to settle his cause with Iran. Just look at his actions over the last year. Excessive force in Gaza, direct attacks on Tehran, killing the Hezbollah chief in Beirut. All of it confirms one thing. He was needling Iran all the time, basically spoiling for a direct confrontation, and now he has got it. The Israeli prime minister addressed a security meeting yesterday. He promised to make Iran pay. Iran made a big mistake tonight, and it will pay for it. The regime in Iran does not understand our determination to defend ourselves and our determination to retaliate against our enemies. Apparently, there are those in Tehran who do not understand this either. They will understand. We will keep to the rule we have determined. Whoever attacks us, we attack them. That's a strong statement and expect Netanyahu to follow through. He couldn't do that the last time. Iran launched its first direct attack in April this year, but Israel's response was limited, a bit half-hearted. This time, he is in a better position. Netanyahu is more popular at home. His allies have closed ranks behind him.